Next, uh, you could enable auto sync of your Visual Studio Code settings across different instances of the VS Code. I don't want to do that, uh, let me click simply next here. And now you could pick a folder and get started with VS Code. That's what I already did before. Great. Let's go back to getting started guide and if you want to learn fundamentals of VS Code, you could click here. And here you could find how to perform basic operations in VS Code. For example, if you click on this first step, you could find out how to find and run different commands in VS Code. And if you want to run specific command in VS Code, you could open the command palette by using the key combination command shift p on Mac or Ctrl Shift P on Windows. Like that. And here you could find any command you want to execute, for example, find. And here I'll find option search find in files. If I select it, I will be placed in the search input and here I could search for any occurrences of any text in the files in the open project. For example, if I type here HTML, I'll see that there is HTML found in settings.json file, package-log.json file and index.html for instance. Great, that's how you could open up command palette and perform some actions there.